Hello everyone, welcome to Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I am making a harvest mesh wreath today and I hope that you will join me. For my harvest mesh wreath, I will be using some supplies that are necessary. Of course, there's the wire frame. I am using a 16 inch wire frame. I am using some green mesh. This is the harvest green color and they are from the Dollar Tree. I will be using six rolls of these. I also found this ribbon at the Dollar Tree and I have several rolls of these. I will let you know exactly how many of these I use. I do have two of these brown glittery ribbons. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. It's got that zigzag going on in there. I like this color. I think it'll make, work really well together. I also found this ribbon in my supply box. I don't know where these two came from, but aren't they pretty? This is like a green, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of like a, a linen maybe like a jacquard fabric or something and it's got metallic edging and it's got like orange sparkles going through see there I think this will work really well and of course you will need some coordinating Chanel stems if you want to use Chanel stems you could always use some zip ties if you like I will let you know if I add any additional supplies to complete my harvest mesh wreath I want to go ahead and put my chanels on my wreath form. For reference, I'm going to count from the outside to in the inside of the wreath. So it'll be row one, two, and three. So on to row three, I will put a chanel on the bar and one in the center. On row two, I will put one here and one there. On row one, I will put one on each crossbar and one in the center. I have all the Chanel stems on. Look at this. It's ready. I am going to add uh, my deco mesh now. And I'm going to use the proof method. I guess it's called proof. I don't know. And I'm going to work from the outside in. I usually, I, what do I do? I start from the inside out. But I don't know. I'm going to give this outside to the end a try and see how that works out. I know I'm actually doing it the correct way. Is that how everybody does it? From the outside in? Nah, I'll go from the inside out. <laughs> Why change things now, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. Let me start right here. I'm just going to bunch it up just a little bit. I'm going to leave a tail. That way I can secure that down later. I'm just going to give this a twist. And I'm going to use... Oh, let's do... Um, 10 inch length. So I'm going to uh, measure and go to the next one, which is the center of row three. Give that a twist and then measure again. And then go to the next stem. So the, the mesh from Dollar Tree is kind of like um, loosely woven. So be prepared to, for it to get caught on your Chanel stems. That is probably why people work from the outside in and they get rid of the Chanel stem as you go. But you know what? I like to do everything backwards. I need to put some, some tape down because I have uh, my 
wreath off centered from where my little cheat guide is. So I'm just going to put a tape here and count and then put another one here. This way I don't have to count each inch of lines as I go. <laughs> it makes it quicker. <laughs> and go here and then start again. I'm going to put on some music for you while I do this. completed three rolls of mesh on my form and this is what it looks like I think it's a little see-through see it shouldn't be like this <laughs> now I want to add a couple more rolls of the deco mesh and see what that looks like if I need to I will go ahead and um, add another roll but let me do the two rolls first and see what it looks like. I will go just, you know, kind of like jump back and forth throughout the wreath. I have completed my mesh part. Look at this. So I end up using six rolls all together. And I like it now. It is nice, thick. And it is on the puffy side. Look at that. When I press down on it, it doesn't collapse. It look can't see my head unless I stick it right down in the center. I like that. It is nice and full. I like it. Now that I have all my mesh, you know, the density of the mesh I like, I want to go ahead and make my chanels disappear. For the moment, I'm just going to tuck them through because I will need them in just a minute. I have tucked all the chanels in, but look at this. Isn't that such a pretty color? I am ready to add in my ribbons. And then here is my main ribbon. It has the pumpkins and multicolors. It's got the green, orange, yellow, and browns in here. I like the color combination on this. I have decided not to use the you know, the sparkly brown and uh, sparkly green. <laughs> the green just kind of got lost. And then the brown sparkly kind of like clashed in with uh, the sparkles that I have on my mesh. So what I have found in my supply box, let me show you, is this. This is a satin ribbon and it is gold with like a gold edging. Look at this. It is a, a really cute pattern on there. Like, uh, you know, it looks like swirls and roses maybe. I'm not sure. But I love the pattern. It is really cute. So I'm going to go with this one. And I also found this one. This is a mesh ribbon. And it's like has the off-white edging or the background on the mesh. And then it has the jute cording going through there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think they go all really well together. Look at this. And then I found my 
velvet pumpkin picks and they're in the hunter green color so look at this the combination of all this isn't that such a pretty combination i like it so i trimmed my ribbons down i'm going with 10 inches because i do have 10 inch poofs and i like the length that this gives so i want to go like this and then tuck them in see now you can always go longer if you like but i like the hint of that color in there and i don't want you know it to be like overtaking my wreath i guess i should say but you know you can go like 12 inches and it'll stick out like this and how pretty would that be too right so let me work on the adding in my ribbon now have fluffed my ribbons and I also I did the the little um rosettes or little flowers things right here and then I also added another one on the outside and I just took the the mesh and the pumpkin and then tucked that in here across from this here and then this one is already on the outside, so I'll leave this one as is. I'm ready to add my pumpkins. Aren't they cute? But I also want to add some flowers. I have this floral pick I picked up from Dollar Tree. Look at that, how cute are those? I think I will add some of this. And just trim these down. Here is my harvest mesh wreath. I like the way it turned out. I'm quite happy with it. So I have my bouquet on the side right here. I like it, but you can always fix it. You can put the bouquet at the top or at the bottom or just reverse it and put it on the other side. I did make some changes. I have decided I still need that green ribbon. See here? 
I added it back in and instead of putting my green ribbon at the back, I put it to the front and I centered uh, the green ribbon. So now you can see the green throughout my wreath. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I have my uh, green pumpkins here. I wish I had another one, but uh, these are hard to find now. But, you know, if I'm able to find one more, I would like to go up a little further in a little bit out on each side of the bouquet. It'll look stunning. But right now, I think with the green ribbon going all the way around, I think that works out really well with how the bouquet is falling on the wreath. I like it. I'm quite happy with it. And I hope that you like my harvest mesh wreath and that you give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas, and I will see you next time.